On screen two, we will have a, a left partial laparoscopic nephrectomy performed by Professor Stolzenberg. Okay, again, Stolzenberg. good morning to everybody. Um, it's a great pleasure to operate uh, uh, here in Istanbul live at the Challengers meeting, which, as Vito said this morning, one of the most important live surgery meetings in the world. And I'm happy to be part of the faculty for many years. So today, you know, we have to uh, operate in a very difficult case. Uh, and, but before we really start, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, uh, TBED and Brussel. Uh, this is really an extraordinary place here where we operate, and I'm really happy to be here, and thank you very much. And you see, we already placed the ports, and uh, you see here, this is the liver, and there's one instrument to hold the liver away, and this is probably the tumor. I'm not 100% sure. This looks like a cyst. Uh, there is a cyst distally and cranially uh, around the tumor, so this looks like tumor, but we have to free the pedicle first, and then we can start with the actually partial nephrectomy. There were some adhesions here in this area. We already uh, freed the gold bladder. This is the gold bladder. This is a 30-degree lens, which are we are going to use during the case. So what we do now, we do a lateral colic incision. You see there are some adhesions here. And this is the, here is the appendix, look, can you see that? Here, this is the appendix. Yes, yes. Okay, good, come closer. So, we just you mobilize the, the colon, uh, we go along the line of told uh, to be able to have access to the pedicle. As you could see, there was one main artery and we have to find it. Uh, to be able to do the partial at the end. Okay. As Alex said this morning, um, the mobilization is very impo important. I mean, especially later the exposure of the tumor and the pedicle. You know, this is one of the biggest mistakes of beginners that they just start to operate and they forget to mobilize as much as it necessary for the procedure. Okay, so here, this is psoas muscle. Come in. You can see that here, this is the psoas. Okay, good, take this. So the patient has a multi uh, deformation of the kidney, which is really difficult to operate, and we have to be extremely careful when we are coming closer to the, to the kidney. Good, like the right. testicle vein here, and normally very close to it, you will find the ureter. This is a little artery here, this one. This looks like the ureter, but we have to make sure. Okay, good. So now we really have to make sure that this is the ureter. Closer. Okay, to the right. This can be cut easily. So now we just do this is ureter here and we lift it up. And this is the best way, the assistant can go <coughs> now under the ureter, and this is the nice way to go along here. And we're on the right side. That means uh, we meet the renal mean first, and we also will find the, the K bar. So closer. Closer. So I will change my instruments, because if you come from distally, it's easier to dissect along the line. So I guess we are relatively close to the renal vein. So we have to be careful and we have to keep in mind that uh, the ultrasound device, the, the uh, left part of the instruments becomes a little bit hot. 
when we activate it. So that means we can also damage something. So this is probably not extremely interesting because this is standard procedure when you do kidney surgery. Yeah? You we just try to develop the pedicle. So the landmarks again, the ureter is lifted up. And here you see this is psoas muscle and we go along here uh, to find the renal pedicle. Okay, show me higher. Okay, so this is a little bit fixed, as I said before. There are some adhesions here, and I want to be very careful uh, because I would try to leave the cysts intact uh, to have a good, you know, to have an anatomy that we know from the CT scan. And probably later on, we open the cyst to be able to have a good access to the tumor. But at the beginning, I try not to damage the cysts. So this looks like renal vein here. Oh, there are definitely is a lower pore vessel. We will see in the CT, C10, it, uh, CT scan, it looks like a single vessel, single artery and single vein. Uh, we will see. Okay, there's another cyst here. So I'm not sure about this, it looks like a lower pole this this vessel here. The spermatic. Or it's the spermatic vessel, we will see. Spermatic Too small to be the vein. Hmm? Uh, it looks more like spermatic vein. Okay, look, this is spermatic vein. It's you see it, it's coming from here and the sucker holding is up. So for sure, this is um, spermatic vein. The patient does not need the spermatic vein, so we can clip. And so we avoid any kind of damage of this, of this vessel. So can I have a hemolog, please? It must be ready. Yeah, perfect. So we are around here. You see that? So we can easily clip the uh, spermatic vein. I need two clips, please. Another one. So the clipping of the testicle vein uh, uh, provides an easier access to the renal pedicle and to the parts here of the kidney. For this reason, I will just cut. Cut, is this scissors? No, yeah, scissors. Okay, so now we can also cut this. Harmonic. Come in. So in the right hand, this is a bipolar forceps, and I've, uh, my personal instrument, I like this very much. Uh, I think the bipolar and classical lab is a very important instrument. Uh, you can hold the structures, you can easily dissect. Okay, good. So now we go cranially. Good. So you, s you see the assistant is still under the kidney, so it lifts the kidney up. And now we go here more to the right. We have an easier access here. Oh, another cyst. Hmm? What? Okay, uh, we checked, and probably you have seen this, and the preoperative scan did show that one cyst is directly on top 
of the uh, pedicle of the kidney. So this uh, makes it more difficult, but this, is, this meeting is called Challenges in Laparoscopy, so in robotics, runterzeigen. Uh, we have to free this, and it's most important that we take our time to be safe at the end. Also, a bit too far away. Okay, this looks like the artery. Can you see that here? Yes, it's, it is clearly seen. Okay. So the wean is here. Oh, oh, it's very difficult, you see? Yes, nicely. Yeah. So I will for free... you. Ah. <laughs> so I try to mobilize this here. here this is no vessel inside just you know uh, very often you find a lot of lymph nodes around the pedicle and uh, these are little vessels from the lymph nodes okay so we clean the lens please okay, right, right so we mobilize this Unten zeigen aber. Unten zurück. It's a very interesting anatomy here. Uh, we very rarely operate such cases. So probably we have to mobilize the liver a little bit more here. Do you, you, yeah. do you planning to open the cyst? I think we have, but first do I try to mobilize and then we will see uh, what's really necessary. I, I, I guess I have to. And as long as I can, as I said before, I will try to leave the cyst intact. This is adrenal. You see that here? Yes. It's nice, you know, when you see this, is you can really understand why you should operate the adrenal from retro if you, if you have to do adrenalectomy on the right side. Uh, because it's very difficult, it would, it would be very difficult to do adrenal here, adrenalectomy here. So uh, I think we have it done nicely. So we have to mobilize here cranially a little bit more. Uh, what about, what about, go, go take the liver. I think uh, we should cut this here. So it's not completely freed on this side. Come in. Come in.
So I really like to see the margins before I open the cyst. So it's not completely freed on this side. Come in. Come in. So I really like to see the margins before I open the cyst. So this is the cranial end, but here's the next cyst. I don't know if they communicate or if it are separated cyst. I have no idea, and we couldn't see it in the CT. It's not a procedure to go fast. This is a procedure where you really should take your time and to be, to be able to dissect very carefully here. So, okay, so go back. I would like to see the pedicle to have an orientation. Action. So there's now, I think, a little opening of the cyst, you see? Pedicle is, is here, so, okay, now we, have, we can open the cyst. So there's a hole in it, and I would start to cut the cyst by the open. So I will now cut the wall of the cyst, and I will try to uh, dissect it completely under my instrument. Huge cyst, as you can see. But when we have resected the wall, we will have a, bet a much better access to the pedicle. So, oben zeigen. As I said, this is not extremely special what we do now, but it has to be done. Otherwise, you would have big problems with the pedicle. So this is a step which is really necessary and which actually belongs to the exposure that we have to do. Okay. So first operation done. <laughs> okay, now we go back to the ureter. We lift up everything. And now we go to the pedicle. Come in. So here's the vein. So we need a vessel loop then, please. No, Hals hoch einfach. Under this. Okay, come in. Ah, 
Audrey is here. So what I try to do, I try to loop the Audrey. I don't loop the Wien. I never clip uh, the Wien when I do a, a partial nephrectomy. We only uh, clip the Audrey, which is here. Huh? Okay. I changed my instrument. I took the sucker on my right hand. Okay, now I try to make space here. See, this is, this is kidney. Uh, normally you have more space here, but I think the cyst has, has uh, caused this uh, part of the kidney here, so which it makes it very difficult to get access here from this side to the psoas, which is the easiest way to get around the pedicle. If you have psoas distally and cranially, then you can easily um, go around the pedicle. Uh, it's a little bit difficult here. We will see if we can. All at once. Okay, this is the space that we need here. And this is artery. Uh, we, are we are using a 30 degree, you see, even with the 30, it's not extremely easy to, to see it, but it becomes so, okay, that's nice. Okay, I need an instrument which go, has a little kind of hook at the end, you see this? And then it's normally easier to get yep. around here. You see, that's the tip of the instrument. Okay, I need a vessel loop, please. It must be ready. We always loop. Uh, this is, I think, standard in... Uh, cut it here. This is standard in any kind of, uh, of partial nephrectomies. Um, okay, so how can I get in? Yes, later we need the hemolog. So, okay, we have to be very careful, okay, because we are so close to the wean, which is, you know, very fragile. So, but we have been around, there must be plenty of space. Okay, so camera back. Okay, and we secure the uh, muscle We secure the loop with a hemolog as you know all the robotic surgeons do. It's a hemolog, yeah, okay. Okay, good. That's done. So we are safe with the artery, you see it's completely looped. That's okay for the dissection. And I think there's nothing else to do here at the pedicle. Tumor. So we go. This looks like tumor. This is the cranial cyst. This is the distal cyst. So, okay, let's go. To be 100% sure if this is the tumor, we would need the ultrasound. I don't know if this is ready. Especially, especially if you do cases like this, this yeah, with uh, multiple cysts, and it can be very difficult to find a tumor. So for this reason, when you do this kind of surgery, I think you should have uh, an ultrasound ready. Okay. So we open Gerto's fascia here.
So here you see on under this the S assist, so we are on the, on the right plane. I'm not sure if we have to mobilize the whole kidney. We will see. There's no doubt that the exposure is the key for, for a good partial nephrectomy, but not in all patients you have to mobilize the whole kidney. In some you have. Uh, for sure you have, should have enough space uh, to be able to resect and the suture at the end. The best is if you can leave a, a part of the garatus fascia on top of the tumor, then it's much easier to grab the tissue or the tumor uh, of course, it would be a nightmare if you would grab into the tumor. For this reason, it's good to leave uh, the garatus fascia on top of the tumor. Yeah, okay, first to the right. Mm -hmm. The best is if you can leave a, a part of the garatus fascia on top of the tumor, then it's much easier to grab the tissue or the tumor. Uh, of course, it would be a nightmare if you would grab into the tumor. For this reason, it's good to leave uh, the garatus fascia on top of the tumor. Yeah, okay, first to the right. Mm -hmm. Now run. Okay, to the right. So they are now preparing the ultrasound. I think it's really important here uh, to see where the tumor is. And I hope you can connect your ultrasound with the screen in the audience. Please, can you connect the uh, audience with the... Do you have it now? Yes, we are seeing. You see, yes. the, you see the ultrasound, huh? You see, this is the cyst here, the cranial cyst. Yes. Here the tumor starts. This is all tumor. It's not small. Oh, it's big. And here are the cysts. They bleed in. So, but it looks like a capsule. Can you see that, that the tumor is capsulated? You see that? I'm not sure if you can see. Yes. Yeah? And there's a... Yes, exactly. Yeah, you see. So this is, I think the strategy is now clear. We have a cyst on this side. We have a cyst on this side. So I will open the cyst, and then we probably have to do the ultrasound again to identify the tumor. Okay, you agree? Good. Yes. Come on. So this looks like this is tumor here. Can you see that? Muss machen. You can. Yes, we, we see the tumor. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, we go to this cyst.
Okay, good. Go to the right. Show me the other sis. So they do not communicate here. Okay, that's a nice plane. Optic, optic server. Huh? Okay, good. So I think. Good. Okay, we go now to the big cyst here. Best is to go in with the sucker and to suck. I don't know, this was a kind of pre cyst. The big cyst is here, a little bit higher, near run. Nach unten. Nach unten. This is the big cyst. Okay, here is normal kidney, so I cut here. Okay, I think we have to free this to have a better access from ventrally to the tumor. And this is so important for the patient because uh, I think 75% of the kidney function is done from the, from the right side. So we have to protect yeah. the head kidney definitely. Actually, the kidney has one big artery and one branch uh, is running to the tumor, uh, as you have seen in the, in the CT. And if we are lucky, we will find the artery, and then uh, we could really reduce ischemia time a lot. Here's another cyst. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit risky. We are not sure if this belongs to the tumor or not. Yeah, run. Okay, come on back. Not small. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, I think you, we Do you use any time in cooling? Uh, no, we, we never use cool, uh, kidney cooling um, for partials. It's very difficult uh, technically to use it, so uh, we don't use it. Oh, we are coming close now to, to the actual partial nephrectomy, but as long as I can do, I will try to do a blunt dissection or an enucleation.
camera back to the right. So the next problem if we are going to face when we do the partial is we have to suture and we don't want to damage with the sutures the healthy tissue so we really have to see and they have to look around where the tumor is. But this is still a nucleation what I'm doing here. Often. Okay, this is healthy kidney here, and I would like to use the ultrasound to see the margins. Okay, can we have the ultrasound picture, please? No, we are seeing now. Okay, good. You see, this is tumor. If I turn, if I go down, there's no tumor. Show me. So here is the border between tumor this is no tumor, and this is becoming the tumor here. You see it? Okay, come on. To the other side. Yes. Okay, this is tumor. Oh, this all tumor. Oh my, my God! It really goes deep. Suction. This is tumor. Suction. Again. It looks, it looks uh, if the tumor goes really, really deep. This is tumor for sure if I turn it. So this is healthy kidney. Huh? Okay, good. It restarts. Okay, so uh, this is too. Ah, yeah, hochhalten, hochhalten. Traction. Nach unten drücken. I'm not sure what this is, if this is tumor or not. If you open the capsule, it's not clear. So for safety reasons, I would like to go a little bit deeper. Yes.
her, her, her. Okay, let's go over. This looks like a good plane here to the sect. Huh? Just two more nodes. Okay, I I will place the bulldog. Bulldog, please. Okay, good. Do you use the same pressure during the resection? Uh, you can increase uh, to 20, but with the air seal, it's not necessary. Uh, with the air seal, you have a permanent pressure of 12, and you don't lose the gas, so that's, that's okay. Okay, from the other side. You see, it's a very big tumor. Um, I think it looks much bigger than in the CT. So this also, I'm not sure if this is tumor or not. If this is tumor, it goes direct de much deeper. You see that? It's like a, a tumor arm, which is not nice. Huh? I, we thought there is a capsule, and this can't, you know, oh. Still bleeding, I don't know why. Huh? Somebody so try to increase the pressure to 20, please. To the right, to the right, to the right. Okay. I don't like this here. It's um, not clear. And here, I don't think it's humor. It's um, actually we would need frozen section to prove. Hip, hip, get rein, hips on. Anheben. I don't really understand why it's still bleeding. We, we, are, we really clipped the artery. Come in. I need a five millimeter fault, please. Five millimeter. Eh? Five millimeter port. Five millimeter port.
So this area is easier than the central part. Are you planning to put a, are you planning a, a new trocar? Yes, because I cannot reach this position here very nicely with my instrument. Give me a five millimeter port. I think we should do frozen section. Or that was, was little area, one little area I don't like. So. Yes. Come in. Okay, good. So from unten, von unten. Action. It's really not understandable why we have this bleeding uh, because we really clip the artery somewhere here. Bleeding is here. Zurück, zurück. Nach oben. Next cyst there, you see that? Okay, come on, zurück. This is fat, this is no tumor here, huh? Tumor is here. Okay, good. Come on back. Nach unten legen. I still think the tumor is intact. We have to check from outside, but I believe all is intact. Also here, this is just fat. This is separate. And here, this is the margin we have to check. Okay, now suture. So the technique of suturing is the same um, that we use in robotic, there's no difference. Um, so I try to control the bleeding inside. Mm. 
Hm, was hast du? Das ist ein Y-Grill Suture 2.0 mit einem SH-Needle. Okay, to the right. The surface is very big because of the cysts. So Okay, give me a clip, please. Okay, good. Um, another clip. No, no clip. Next feature, please. Okay, bleeding is much better now after the first stitch. It's the next next feature, please. Next feature. Okay, good. Hmm. Okay. Do you use any flow seal or something? Uh, normally not, but this you see, this is a very, you know, it's a very different case to others. Uh, you see here is a cyst. There are many, so many cysts, so I, I'm really not sure what we have to do here. We have to decide at the end. As I said, the, sur the f surface, the cutting surface is very big. So we probably um, have to, we cannot close the defect open. completely as we would do. As you uh, could see when Alex did the partial, uh, we normally try to, to really close the parenchyma at the end, but here I think it will not be possible because of the size of the defect. Uh, this is a cyst, and here's a cyst, so uh, I guess it's a good idea to bring both sides to each other to have a good hemostasis.
Okay, give me a hemolog, please. But still a bleeding from here and what's here? Okay, this looks okay. Not completely. <coughs> okay, this is the cyst you see from the upper pole. The main bleeding is here. I will put another stitch there and then we take the bulldog away. I think that's, that's important. Uh, uh, as, as I did uh, demonstrate it, there was one, one spot. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. If that's probably so, okay, we stitch. It's also important not to stitch too deep, eh? otherwise uh, you would risk that the patient loses more parenchyma. I just put now the second layer on top. So can you check the blood loss, please? What's the blood loss? Okay, good. Okay, hemolog, please. Again, we try to clip in the middle Okay, good, good. Give me a, we take the bulldog. How many Zange to my thumb? Huh? Okay, do we have the forceps to remove the uh, bulldog? How, can you give me the forceps to remove? This is, not the, this is not the correct one. The big, I need a big forceps to remove the bulldog. This is not the forceps to remove the bulldog, but I can use it, okay. Okay, so what is, how was the ischemia time? 21 minutes, good. Check. 20 minutes. Okay, it was a very difficult case. Show me the, the bleeding area. Okay. Okay, so, okay, yeah, so we can, yeah. this is tumor, we can check the tumor. <coughs> That's okay. Okay. Okay, so we would now remove the tumor. Can you give me an endo bag, please? Leave it. So hemostasis is good. And uh, we take the tumor out. And then we all, <coughs> as you like, we can also finalize first. It uh, depends on you. Um, but this looks good, you see? And we can't close the defect. There's no way to do that uh, because of the cysts of the patient. Before you finish, you should definitely uh, put the pressure down to six or something like this to check. Uh, this is too dangerous. The surface uh, of the kidney is too big now uh, to be sure that there's no oozing from somewhere. So we definitely do this before we go out. Here's the bleeding. 
But these minor bleedings normally can be controlled by bipolar. And in this case, you you don't uh, you you don't Undone. prefer the the flow seal on the surf. It's the, a big the, surf. The, the question is where to put. You see, this is cyst. This is cyst. This is cyst. Yes, this is all cyst. Uh, the question is where to put. Of course, we can. Uh, it looks definitely nicer at the end. Um, but I'm not really sure if this makes sense. Uh, what I would show, uh, what I like to use is um, Tabotam Snow. I will, I will show you. We can modulate directly on the surface here mm. on the kidney. That's what I'm going to use here. No, not this. Okay, this is the Tabotam Snow, which is nice. As I said, I don't believe 100% in that, but. Uh, it gives you a little bit more freedom and peace. So this can be modulated like this. And the next one, please. Uwe? Yeah. Can you explain what you are doing? I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm on this three is screens. A, and uh, this, is a hemostatic, this is a hemostatic agent. Uh, instead of using flow seal, you can use, this is called Tabotam Snow. And you can just, you know, it has a, it does not activate the, the, the uh, coagulation cascade, but it's nice to modulate like this on the top of the kidney. And this is good for hemostasis. Uh, the old surgery, uh, the old uh, surgery, uh, how is it called in English? It's in German, Tabo Tump. Uh, you couldn't modulate. And this is nice, you see? You just put this on the surface, and this covers the defect. And this helps... Uh, to, uh, to avoid uh, so minimal oozings, you know, venous oozings, venous easings. You see, this is now on the surface, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see. And this uh, gives you more yes. safety. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So finally, we put a drain, we take the specimen out, and we'll send it for frozen sections. Yes. Good. Endo back, please. Yes. Uh, last but not least, we would like to, we would like to congratulate you it was very enjoyable and excellent operation that we that you usually show us thank you okay thank you very much